to my channel. So today we are going to be doing <laughs> all of the signs, the zodiac signs, and what messages need to be heard for each of the signs. And we are we're moving on to Cancer now. Bottom of the deck for you Cancers is Two of Cups. Okay, I'm gonna leave this if it's in the reverse. It's supposed to be, this was in the reverse. This is sideways. Okay, so we have a couple cards in the reverse. I feel like there's gonna be some things that you need to bring balance to. So this is someone that's like lonely, seeking solitude, maybe went through some kind of like betrayal, um, some kind of incorrect actions towards them or dealings, um, some kind of like introspection. So in the reverse, it means uncertainty, depression, and doubt. So you need to bring balance to these things. Know that um, you have every right to be... You have every... Sorry, my daughter just woke up. You have every right to be certain in any situation. Um, don't allow your self-doubts to cause you to be depressed. Okay? And we have seven of coins in the reverse. So this is a card of mixed emotions. Indicating of money and stability represents both positive and negative impacts on money. In the reverse, it's, it just means the same as in the upright. So it's like a continue to work on your projects. Remember that money can bring great joy and great sorrow. So the importance of money... The importance of money is freedom here. So do not let the money mindset like imprison you. Okay. Don't let money be that, that which imprisons you be, let it be that, that which frees you, that which, um, helps you to spread your love and your joy to the world. We have the three of swords. So this is a card of sadness and hurt feelings. This is like a sense of loss or missing. Um, unanswered questions, abrupt separation. So this is a broken heart, whether in relationship or in your life. This is an ending of an affair um, or a bitter heartbreak. Um, it's telling you to take care of your emotional problems here and heal those things. We have the eight of coins. This is a card of employment and promotion, as well as the money that accompanies such action. Firm placement, speciality knowledge specialty knowledge. So you may find yourself learning a trade in which you will find economic stability, seek opportunities which specialize in knowledge and learning. I feel like you're gonna be learning a lot more on how to branch out even further and make even more money for yourself. Especially if you're self-employed or especially if you're in a career where you're still learning, you're gonna be learning a lot more. Then we have the Page of Swords. Okay, so for the Page of Swords, it's a card of emotional possession associated with jealousy also a card of surveillance so kind of like really like surveying the lands around you and kind of like comparing yourself to others sometimes indicates a diligent person who is watching the actions or trying to figure out the actions of somebody else especially regarding to love okay so you're just being very very like aware and observant when it comes to somebody else in the aspects of love and you're just kind of like observing and seeing what the outcomes of this are we also have another page, the Page of Cups. So this is a short stature male, sometimes stocky, often in need of assistance, dependent, good heart. But this can also mean um, a person who will help you in some way and be a good friend to you. However, you may find yourself having to help as well. So I feel like it's going to be like a, a balancing out of like help and emotions and guidance. It's just going to be a really, a really good friend, okay? 
Um, then we have the Empress and another three here. We have like so many threes in your read. We have the nine of the Hermit in reverse, which is a three, three, three. Then we have the three of swords and we also have the Empress, which is at the top of three. Lots of threes. Um, and we also have three pages in your read, which is really interesting. Lots of three energy. I've been seeing that a lot <laughs> in a lot of readings too. So the Empress, the Empress card, we have doubting yourself, okay? New beginnings um, could be pregnancy or also love. So at times that you may doubt yourself or your circumstances, however, new and exciting times are approaching. So a time of love and sensuality and pregnancy may also be indicated. But I feel like you're really coming into... Um, Lots of love, and this could also mean like relationship-wise, but this could be the relationship that you have with yourself and um, rising above these self-doubts. This could also be the love that you have for others and friendships. Um, this could also be like a new romance. Um, but I feel like sometimes you doubt yourself and your circumstances and you really need to like rise above these things because you need to believe more in yourself, okay? It's an overall energy that I'm kind of getting from this read here. Just have faith in yourself, have faith in circumstances, have faith in the unknown also. We have the Knight of Swords here. Card of Battle, uh, confrontation, defense, bravery, competition. Again, competition here with the Page of Swords and also challenges. So people may fight over the same issue or people may fight over some issue, some issue. The fight may occur so quickly that the real issue is actually lost. This sometimes indicates a young man who may help in a situation. So you might have like someone um, that's very close to you that could be young, but I just feel like this is like almost like a, a father-like figure who's gonna be helping you. But this could also be like just a, a young friend that you have is gonna be helping you. Um, or this could be a higher dimensional spirit guide that's like you, like your higher self, that's gonna be helping you out in this like kind of challenge that could be approaching or has already approached. But um I feel this is also rising above those competitious, um, com competitive um, emotions. I feel like this is you, like this is your higher self, like rising above these things and gaining the courage and bringing back your power to not have to compete with others to just like kind of join forces and um, be more confident in yourself because you're having a lot of self doubts and you need to like really bring back your power and um, not be so doubtful of yourself because you're you're a warrior is what i'm hearing then we have the page of staffs the page of staffs is somebody who's confident arrogant tailored devoted well educated and ahead for business this is a good person but sometimes egotistical okay someone that may bring you important news listen to it um a truthful person so i feel like someone definitely is coming to bring you news but i feel like sometimes you get um, caught up in your head, especially when it comes to like your business. And um, I wouldn't say, I would say sometimes maybe you're a little too, um, it's just asking you to bring like balance to the emotions that you're feeling here. Because this is also egotistical, um, arrogant. So I feel like you need to just be in your authenticity, be your truthful self. Um, and someone is bringing you important news and please listen to it, okay? And we have the Two of Cups ending your read here. Our Two of Cups. So this is um, a relationship or marriage, um, often referred to as the couple's card. Friendship as well as passion is shared. This is a strong foundation and respect. So this is a card of union of two people coming together, a time of understanding between two people, okay? So it's really exciting. So you're definitely gonna have someone coming in that's gonna be like really understanding of you and your energies are just gonna like totally balance each other out. You're just gonna totally understand each other um, without even probably having to talk much. <laughs> but I feel like there will be com communication coming um, more and more. Yeah. You're going to be coming together with this person, I believe, towards the end of 2019. So that's really exciting. All right, and we're going to pull an abundance card. Yeah, 
Hi, you wanna watch? Okay, so what message out of Bunnins do cancers need to hear at this time? I'm right here, I'm right here. My daughter is sitting with me to complete this reading. So the last card is gratitude list and it's saying counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. All right. And it's also saying the power of prayer was the bottom. Um, do a situation God for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources of love and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives to you in response to your prayers. Also, we have partnership. Uh. It says allow healthful, supportive partnerships wow. into your personal life and your career, and both parties benefit as a result. You are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources. And then it's telling me to tell you this. Ask for your needs to be met. It's saying God and the angels can come to your aid only if you make a free will choice to be helped. And it begins with asking. It doesn't matter how you ask God for help, but only that you do so. The same holds true with clearly asking other people to assist you. So ask for other people to assist you as well.